Hello, this is Miss Eva from West Georgia Technical College, and I am going to work through some lessons in the Kaplan GED book for my class while we are all in quarantine. Um, this is the GED test 2016 book. Um, if you have one that is a little different, that uh, different year, that's okay. What you need to do is just look in your index and find the lessons that line up and then go to that page. Um, right now, I'm working in number sense and problem solving. Lesson one, compare and order numbers. I wrote the title of the lesson up here, and I have written a number chart for you. I'm um, starting with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. I went ahead and put my decimal point and wrote my tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and hundred thousandths. Okay? In the example of this lesson, it gives us a number, 1479, and it asks us to tell what the place value of each number is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with my 1, and I'm going to write my numbers up here. That would be 9, 7, 4, 1. So we can see that our first number, 1, is in the thousands place. So we would read this number, 1,479. So if someone were to ask you, given this number, what number is in the tens place? You can look here and see that the seven is in the tens place. What if they asked you what number place is the four in? Okay, we can look at the four and we can see that it's in the hundreds place. So that's really easy to do if you have a numbers chart. If you are not familiar with where the numbers are or you're new at working with numbers, this is always good to help you um, to determine what the place value is. All right, then it gives us a group of numbers and it asks us to put them in order from least to greatest. So I'm gonna line these up vertically. Okay, so let's, we have 342, 98, and 317, okay? When we are putting number in order from least to greatest, the first thing that we want to do is look at the highest number. We see that these two numbers have three digits. This one only has two. If we line them up over here under our number chart, we would see that that means that these two numbers have numbers in the hundreds place. This one does not, 98. It is less than 100. So that is our lowest number, and that would go first because we are ordering them from least to greatest, okay? Now we have two numbers left. Both of them have a three and a hundredths place. So let's look at the next digit. We have a four and a one. Those would each be in the tens place. Is four tens or one ten greater? Well, four, because if I have one cookie and you have four, who has more, okay? So we're doing it from least to greatest. So 317 would be our next number. And then our last one would be 342, okay? So we start out looking at our first number. We compare those. Those were both in the hundreds place. We go to our second number. Those were both in the tens place. That's where we determined which one was greater or least, okay? And we line them up that way. All right, then it gave us the number 2,451, and it asked us to round that to the nearest hundred. Well, the first thing that we need to do is find the number in the hundreds place, okay? And that's going to be our four. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the number directly beside it to the right, and that number is a five. And our rules for rounding numbers is if a number is five, or higher, we round up. If our number is four or lower, we round down, okay? So here it's asking us to round to the nearest hundred. Our four is in the hundred place. The digit directly beside that is a five. So according to our rules here, we're gonna round up to the nearest hundred. So our new number would be 2,500, okay? Now, what if it asks us to round the same number to the nearest 10? We're gonna look at the number in our tens place. It's five. We're gonna go to the number directly beside it. Then that is a one. 
So according to our rules, if a number is four or less, we round down. Here we're rounding to the nearest 10, not the nearest 100. So this new number would be 2,450 because we round down to the closest 10, okay? So that's it for this lesson, number sense and problem solving. Um, we'll be right back with the next lesson.